Wow. Pulled in here at, I don't know, six o'clock last night. Felt like crap. <clears throat> like itchy neck, throat. So I tried doing some editing and uh, ended up climbing to bed at eight o'clock. It's now eight o'clock. So I feel a bit better. So I should get um, cleaned out and a bite to eat. And uh, see how I feel. I might start around and do some more editing. That's right, I've got that Mount Terry Fox. Uh, it's just uh, ooh, five kilometers uh, after the uh, Tejon Cache heading towards Jasper. Um, highway 5. Yeah, so this is where I usually pull over because of their uh, rest area. But it's also the scenery. Let's have a look. And well, that's Mount Terry Fox. If you're wondering why I scooped the coffee off, I saw it on a YouTube video. They said that's the best way to make French press. It's easier for cleanup too. <laughs> Good morning, YouTube. Well, this trip hasn't been as or this stop hasn't been as, I'll use the word climactic as pre previous ones. I'm having problems keeping hooked up to the Wi-Fi. For some reason, when I'm downloading my videos out of the cloud, they're coming scrambled up. So it makes editing twice as hard. So I'm gonna wait till I get to a good Wi-Fi place where I can sit down and hammer something out. So I'm gonna take a drive into Jasper. Thought you guys might like that. <laughs> Let's get going. I travel around 80 kilometers, between 80 and 90 kilometers an hour, so I always check my rear view mirrors. 
and uh, try to let people uh, buy. But uh, behind me is Moose Lake. It's starting to thaw up here. I think I was up here uh, probably a week or two later last year and everything was all frozen over too, but I love how the steam is coming off, or fog I guess is coming off the uh, frozen lakes over there. Okay. Drifting over the lake, over the road. So I'm gonna hop on the road behind these guys, or those guys, or with some of those guys. And yeah, Moose Lake. And nobody behind us. And we're back on the road. Sorry you guys didn't get to see any mooses. Or they mice. Or... Okay, a moose. <laughs> you know, I was playing with that one. But the good thing is, as we're getting close to Alberta, Mr. Sunshine's decided to make it a special guest appearance. Beautiful mountains, eh? They're kind of breath there, breathtaking. This is pretty monumental. A little pull off on the side of the road here. It does two things monumentally. <laughs> it reminds us to move our clocks ahead because we're growing over a time zone. And. Well, that there's the BC, uh, welcome to BC sign. And oh, up there it says, welcome to Alberta. So we're on the border, just outside of Jasper. Isn't this a cute little lake though? Well, hello, Alberta. So I've been doing some pondering and some investigating and I was going to travel down the Icefields Parkway, uh, which goes from Jasper, Alberta, all the way down to Lake Louise, Alberta. It's only a few hour drive and breathtaking views of mountains and stuff. But I did that trip last year, May long weekend, and everything was closed. And there's no camping, you couldn't get into the campsites, you couldn't get into the pull-offs, all the lakes were frozen. There wasn't a lot to really do or see, well to see, but the problem with me is only one gas station and I'm afraid of getting yeah the one gas station charges like double on everybody else so I'm thinking we're gonna do that on the way back because then it's gonna be like summertime and everything will be open so we're gonna go straight through towards Edmonton and then we're gonna veer south to head down to see my kids I hope you guys are okay with that. But in the meantime, check out these views, eh? Hey? Eh? Hey? Isn't that an amazing view? 
Huh? Anyways. <laughs> We're in Alberta. We're in Jasper. And fuel is now at a dollar sixty-seven dollar sixty-seven a liter finally. Yeah. Just waiting for these guys here in front of me to get their poop in a group. My buddy's favorite hotel right up here, the Alpha Pasca. He goes, you gotta stop in here and have a beer. And I'm like, yeah, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so, I thought I'd just do a quick little tour. This is the dead center of town. Like, basically where you come and you try to find a parking spot. You got your, uh, what you might call it over there, the uh, tourist booth. And then all the uh, shops are just down that road there, so. We're just gonna do a little drive around and shh. Souk. Wonder if you notice the Souk hooligans. I saw his sticker. This is the one way. This is where you find a lot of your shops, and there's some tucked in behind, and yeah, very outdoorsy camping, bike riding, all that fun stuff down here. Get bigger, that's just bam. So let's drive through. This is like a main road through through Jasper. So I'll let you guys have a peek here. Yep, so that was Jasper. And we're on the road. Like, this is the stuff I like. I don't think I've ever traveled this way down this road. I've come in this way, but I can't remember traveling out this way. Now we're all on an adventure. <laughs> awesome. Oh, look at this. You're not going to believe this. Check it out. As we leave Jasper, there's some, I believe it's something, I don't know what it is. Animals. Oh, big, uh, big orange sheep, that's what they were. I don't know if he saw, but I saw a couple horns on those babies, so that means they are males, I guess. Okay, this is something I've never seen before. I had to pull over. Let's see if I can pick them up. Uh, that's as close as we can get. Uh, sorry, my camera isn't all that great, but I'll, I'll take a picture. We'll see what we can do and maybe load it in. Anyways. Cool, I've never seen that before. Honestly, who needs the ice fields when we have this Yellowhead 16? Right? The mountains are beautiful, so. Yep. Officially in Alberta. More rolling hills. No mountains. 
They have trees. So while I'm getting bored on this road, I thought I'd bring to your attention that I'm on Patreon. Uh, that's got it kind of up and running. Uh, I want to say hi to my first Patreoner, Donna Black from the East Coast. Thank you very much for joining. I uh, hope you're reading my posts and finding out where I am. Because Patreon will actually, I actually will take a picture and show you where I am. We're going to do some videos on there. We're looking at doing some lot more live here on YouTube. And uh, yeah, we're going to try to expand a bit. I pick up some stickers tomorrow. So we'll have those ready for you guys. Um, yeah, let's kind of expand. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you know anybody that would be interested in subscribing, poke them in the nose and tell them you should subscribe. Okay, don't poke them in the nose. But yeah, let's, let's see if we can get this community growing a little bit bigger. Okay, guys? Now let's get back to this boring road. Their winter has just ended. Usually there's snow and stuff, and you can tell by all the dirt and stuff on the side of the roads. That I think they finally just got rid of the snow here. So we finally turned off of the Highway 16, the Yellowhead, and we're now cruising down Highway 22. 22 runs parallel with Highway 2, which runs north to south. South, <laughs> north to south, from Edmonton to Calgary. But this one kind of jig jags all the way down because it's an old highway that hits all the older, smaller towns. This is what I've been looking for. But mind you, I'm just trying to get somewhere tonight. I'm just trying to get to uh, hopefully the kids' house tonight. Sneak them sneaking up on them. I'm about two hours out from them, so that puts me in kind of late. Kind of late for me too to be driving, but we'll get her done. Peace, love, and granola. Thanks for watching.